Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today we'll see the complete walkthrough of MySQL work events like how can we run uh, the MySQL work events and how can we operate to perform many operations over the database like edit uh, tables, delete tables, alter tables, how can we change the name of the table so different different are operation we are going to perform in this so this is a MySQL uh, tool uh, like a MySQL GUI tool you can say the my so you can you don't need to use the command prompt and all to perform all the operations so this is a, a GUI version where you can operate database um, without using knowledge of the script as well okay so let's perform the first option uh, let's introduce some things that are uh, uh, displaying here over the page so when you run the MySQL server uh, MySQL workbench at the very first also, uh, I just want to inform you, uh, I'm using the version 8.0, so might be the operations will be different for the other versions, but uh, probably 99% will be the same for, for all the versions. It might be an upgraded version or some uh, version, uh, it will display some advanced features as well. Okay so let's get rid of this and when you first time run this mysql work event it will look like this if you have already a connection and if you uh, deal with code one and we have set up this thing at your machine so uh here's the thing and uh, in the connection this is called connection connection means this is a complete a different connection where you will see a url like localhost that connection is running on this, this uh, localhost and port number is 3306 and the username is root and the pa and the password whatever the password you have and the local instance mysql uh, 56 is a uh, like you can say connection name and in this in my case i'm using mysql server 5.6 so it's uh, giving me this 56 here so when you logged in here, uh, when you first time log in into any connection, it will ask for the password. So uh, my password is saved in the connection. So it's not asking for the password directly. It's opening over there. Okay. So under the connection, uh, I have lots of database. Uh, we will demonstrate uh, one of them. So let's say I have this database airline TV. Uh, this is for some airline project. Okay. So here if you want to create a new database uh, let's understand uh, first how can you create a new database and work on that like create table and all so let's create a database to create a database we have to use this option uh, which is called create a new schema so i just click here and then enter the name let's say i enter the database name as demo demo db also use the small letter uh, it's recommended and uh, for the database name so demo dt and just click on the apply you can see this script going to run in the background so click on finish when you refresh this schema section uh, by clicking on this button it will display the data uh, into the database section so my newly created database is this demo db and here also we have to observe administration and uh, schema so just to view this database you have to click on on schemas make sure it's uh, pressed okay now under this database let's create a table so first thing just click double click on the name of the database uh, database root folder and mm, when you select this it will display in some dark uh, you can say bold like uh, character so now let's after that click here to create a new table so i just click here to create a new table and this enter the create table name so let's say i enter user or uh, it should be in a small letter that's good and here i need to enter the column name let's say i enter uid user id and some name and that's it's, it's a name and let's say another field is email here uh, we can enter the name of the column of this table and here we can select the data type so if you click here and click on this arrow icon you will get through this things like uh, integer work here the type of the database uh, data field so it's integer right now also you can set the keys from here so if you want to make this user id as a primary key that's a uh, primary key in n inmates that's not null and the other options also they are auto increment uh, uh, unique elements and the different different options are there so you can use and you can check box as per your requirement 
and then again uh, this is a like icon also different here that if are, because it's a primary key so it's a uh, key is a symbol there and here also you can change the database as per your requirement and click on apply finally in the background the script will create automatically and when you click on apply and finish automatically the data field is table is created now to view the table just click on this icon here and here you have a user table now right click on this table and select the rows limit 1000 this is the option that you need to select here when you select this you can view the data here and now let's suppose I want to enter some data in this table so just insert a query insert into table name so my table name is user and let's say uh, I want to enter some values uh, like for uh, UID I'm going to it's like, like uh, here we need to enter the name of the field so UID name and email and the values will be like I enter one for the UID and the name will be let's say code one and the other thing is email is as hit the range dot some domain data. Okay, when I execute this to execute this, just click on this icon and the, you can see the script is uh, affected by one row. And when you again view the table, you will see the data is inserted. Now, uh, also, if you want to see a uh, command, what command is running to view this table? It's a here, select a stick from demo dot database name dot table name. Okay, now uh, let's check how can we edit, can we edit the table name? Yes, we can edit the table name. Just right click on the table and go to alter table. Even with the name, we can change the format as well. Like we can make any table, uh, we can change the name of column name, we can change anything. So these are perform all the edit operations. So let's say I'm gonna change the table name as a user demo and the email as a as a password. Let's say and then click on apply. So it's allow only a small character. So that was the uh, notification. So here the table name should be in a small. Okay, click on apply, click on finish. Okay, you can see automatically it's converted into the small letter and the updates are done. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the, uh, like I think enough, uh, if you're using that uh, project, minor project or major project. So to understand these things or prepare, if you are preparing for the demo purpose, so like uh, viber purpose or some uh, interview purpose this are the, the these are the most required thing of while you working with the database also uh, let's say i have database and i want to export this database so how can i export the database this also a very uh, like handy things when you work in the corporate world so to right click on this uh, okay, we have other option as well. Just go to uh, like select this database go to server section Go to data export and then select the data that you want to export or create a uh, Like uh, demo DB, okay, uh, you want to export the data demo DB is name and here we have two option like export to or dumb project folder so what it did uh, like what uh, this will done this will create a data file for a separate tables like let's say currently we have one table uh, when you work on the real time or some uh, large project large scale project you have to create multiple tables so it will create a script for each table and when you select the option export to self contained file it will create a single file that will contain detail of the all the database so let's say uh, I just give the name of the database so demo db and SQL and this is my location where it's going to be stored so I'm just selecting the location to check it later okay so all done now go to export progress and click on start export it will export it and finish there I just open my external folder go to quick access enter the location 
and then you can see the demo uh, being the file database is created and all the script is there now how can you import this file like in this way you can export the database like now let's say someone send you a sql file then you need to import it into your database so how can you do that so first of all i need to drop this database because if uh, this uh, already exists there will be error like the database is already exist so i'm gonna drop it uh, drop it it means we are going to remove or it will be delete from the database or our memory so i just click on the uh, drop uh, schema and drop now and it's done so now it's not available in the database section okay now let's say i want to export the data that we just imported for that also oh i close the connection sorry now i again open the connection go to some uh, go to server go to data import and here again we have a two option uh, the same option we had like at the time of import so uh, if we have database uh, backup into folder structure then we can we have to select this uh, option and we have to select the folder but we have a self contained file so i'm going to click it uh, um, check uh, the radio button and i'm going to select the option uh, for the self contained file browse it and here is the, my file database file i click to open now again go to import process so uh, progress in some system like uh, depends on the screen size in some size if i export uh, X, like uh, i stretch it uh, here i might be see an option to import uh, the database here but if you didn't get that option just go to import progress and here is the option to create okay uh, it's giving me one error no database select okay it means at the time of import i am not select any database so to import that now we have to create a demo db i am using the old version that's why it's showing the this error in the new version like if you are using server 5.6 not at mysql workbench if you are using mysql for the uh, server 8 and uh, then there, this, this error will not come because it will create a database uh, automatically so to solve this error in the old version just follow me click uh, here to create a schema and create a database name and also right click on the uh, uh, script and check the database name is mentioned there so you need to key, keep exact version of database and click on apply click on apply finish now again go to the server go to data import self contained file select the file select the database name so in the case it's demo no, it's not there it means it's not refresh yet so i'm just close this complete session and go to server import sometime it's not refreshed automatically so you have to uh, create a new uh, window new window new process so now it should become there Okay, here it is demo db and go to import, import progress, click on start import, so it's done. So database is, as the process is finished without any error, means database is created. Now just check it and it will be there. Everything will be same as earlier. Okay, that's a thing where you can update the data. Also, if you want to update the record, you can directly click here. You can change the name like this. You can click outside of this uh, table field and then you see that it's done. Also, you can click on the apply to make sure and apply again, finish. Now it will not change. So by this way also you can update. Also, I will recommend it. Don't update UID and all things anywhere in the database because it's the primary key and the important thing all the database table is dependent on this thing. So if you are using any real time project, please don't update it. You can update other fields. That's fine or you should have the information or like uh, complete knowledge of other things okay now uh, other thing is under the file section these are the common things that uh, we'll cover in later on if it is required and um, these are the common thing that must uh, you should know about the database and the mysql workbench tool also uh, how can you install or set up where will you get the uh, things you can watch the installation video in the configuration thing configuration 
So we'll share the link in the description so you can check out.